let's start with the, the campground is behind me, which is east. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's right. East of, of where we're going, East Point. Yeah, not far, though. And you can see here the speed limit's slowing down to 35. So I'm going to slow down here. There is a diligent officer of the law. Saw him messing uh, with some people on speed bikes or those little rice burner bikes. So I know to be careful. Anyway, this is some places to eat here. We got a uh, family coastal restaurant there, and I think right down the road here is. Uh, we kind of wanted to go to but we never did um, the two places we primarily visited were across this long bridge here that I'm going to show you and then if you go down that road right there to the left that goes to French George Island and um, we did uh, eat there at the Blue Parrot and I'll show some pictures of that but the Blue Parrot was really good it's worth it's worth going to our time here in East Point was mostly like it is right now. Overcast, the first day was really rainy, and it was actually the next day. Uh, we, came, we got in late afternoon, and the next day it was rainy all day. But we still got out a little bit. And um, so it hasn't been real pleasant as far as sunshine goes, but this is an awesome little town I'm going to show you. There's one that seems to be pretty busy. It's a Mexican restaurant called El Jalisco. And we were going to try that, but it just kind of seems wrong to be on the coast and eat Mexican food. We can eat all the Mexican food we want in Texas and, uh, and uh, Arkansas, where we're from. Uh, but uh, yeah, it looks still looked decent. We never tried it. This is the first time we've ever seen a Dollar Tree and a Family Dollar uh, at the same exact place, so that was kind of unique. So I'm going to turn it off and I'll bring you back when we start to go over the bridge. If you look at my navigation system there, you can see that we're about to exit the little tip of land here and go over this bridge and the speed limit's going to pick up. <laughs> What's kind of funny and neat about this is that it says 45 there, but it'll get up to 55 here shortly. The fastest speed limit in the whole East Point is over this bridge at 55, as you see right there. And you've got a little patch of ground. Now on here, it doesn't look like, on the navigation, it doesn't look like there's any ground there. Maybe a little bit, but uh, it's a little bit ground. And then it goes to bridge right up here. Let me get up to 55. Kind of carry you along with me for this because it's neat. I just love these bridges that go across these areas of water. Um, to the left is is a kind of the beginning of the bay or the ending of the bay before it goes into the Gulf because St. George Island is between East Point and the Gulf. Best I can tell. You can see here we're going over actual bridge now we're up on columns over the water even if you look to the right you can see the electricity is poles are raised um, and on top of uh, their own little platforms in the water but this bridge I don't know three or four miles long and you see these long ago from time to time because the coast the Gulf Coast is kind of in and out so to bridge the distance a lot of times they'll make these little roads uh, most famously probably in louisiana uh, but yeah here it is too and I, I like them it gives you kind of a neat feeling you know you're not in arkansas anymore i know i'm probably bouncing a little bit that's the road but i'm over the water and this is a bridge but up here um, it changes back to land for a quick second and then it goes back to uh, it goes over a 
high point, which is commonly used for boats to go underneath. It's just another bridge, but it's got a high point to it. And right at the end of that high point bridge is the ten. This side, I guess you call it the historic East Point. Uh, and a great, cute little town. I'm going to take some uh, some video of that. So this might be a lengthy video, along with a lot of mine, um, because I kind of incorporate it all into the thing. I'm not sure if I'll put the bike ride of the campground in it. You see here it's 35, it just went down to 35. And that's because right at the end of this bridge is the town. I'm going to do a quick drive through the middle of it, and then I'm going to walk a little bit. I'm going to go to this little bar called Up to No Good and have a beer when I'm done with that, provided I don't get rained out here. So it's 25 through here. I'm going to slow down because I want you to kind of get a feel for it. Isn't that like the coolest thing? Here's this area down through here. This is old. I think I already passed the hole in the wall place. Um, I'm gonna turn right here. This is the grill restaurant. Let me go down a little bit further here because I wasn't paying attention. I might have passed the up to no good bar and grill. I think I passed it though. There's a place called Tin Shed. Right there on the left. There's the Rainy House Museum. Now that edge saloon, it's closed, but that looks really cool, doesn't it? I wish it was open. I would stop in and have a beer there. Go up this one road real quick. Uh -huh. Appalachian Appalachicola. I don't know how to say that dang name. Times. It's a I guess a newspaper. eateries to this is the tap room right here the Howell tap room on the left two great guys John and E-Rock I think is his name I'll put a picture in it here and over here is Ocean City which is the name of a um, brewing company here that Everybody seems to carry their beer. So I'll go up here and I'll park right here. Actually, I'm going to go up and park at the, that one bar I was telling you about. This is the Up to No Good Tavern. I was talking about. And before the music starts playing, I thought I'd catch a little bit of a film, a video before the um, music plays and before it gets dark. So that's my destination when I'm done filming. Get some video while walking here. Harbor Realty. La Robe Batique. Coffee place right down there, chocolate and coffee company. Tupelo Honey, whatever that is. Got the post office here. And that's another shot of the Oyster City that I drove. 
sometimes people might be a little intimidated by those type of video. So I went across the street to get it. There's a this cafe up there. That's the Owl Cafe? Huh. That's kind of weird. The, the one on the corner there is called the Owl Cafe and it's closed. But the Owl Tap Room is to the left of it. A little building there. It's called Real Memories, R E E L, of fishing. It's got some old looking fishing stuff in there. Antiques and decor. That's dilapidated, a little rundown. It's likely not open or in existence anymore. We come down here to. There's probably some wind noise in this, but looks like a little dock area. I tend to ramble on when I'm filming. I'm not sure if that's preferential or just showing you the shots. So really, I'm kind of sharing my thoughts about it as I go. These are three active boats. You can tell they're well used. So we're looking back into the small couple blocks, three blocks or so of the old town here, historic. But it's just, you know, and this is the Florida Gulf, I probably mentioned that, but on the Panhandle side. I never noticed that food truck before. It's called uh, Cameras on the Go. A little food truck. How frequently is that? And we're on the go. If we hadn't eaten already, I'd stop and get something. At the La Chicola Bee Company. You reckon they keep a lot of bees in there? The courtyard. It almost looks like a little. Yeah, down that way is the owl tap room we already looked at. Centennial Bank. 17th Avenue E. Visitor Center. Just came out of that area right there, turned right at Oyster Bones. Now if you go straight here, it doesn't look like it goes anywhere, but that's where half shell on the dock side is. Oh, let me get around this water. But uh, there was a veterans memorial. I think it's up here on the left. I'm gonna see if I can walk to it. You know, as a veteran and the lover of all our military folks, I try to uh, patronize. Patronage. I try to go see those things when I can. So I think it may be up here. Now this is the Rainy House Museum Preservation. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up and you can too. It's a historical place it's going to be cleaned up I guess someday. It's kind of spooky actually. <laughs> Here's that tin shed place. Now this is what that looks like a little closer. It's just a antique place it looks like with local fare. You know, Gulf area stuff, signage and stuff. Some old bicycles and whatnot. There's 
the nursery here. One and only I've seen here. It's got plants and stuff. And across the street. Well, before I get there, I, I'm not sure. I, I drove by that memorial. It was a little thing and it was kind of hidden. And I can't seem to find it. I think it may be down there a little further. But I drove by it and, you know, walking to try to find it this late, late afternoon, early evening. This is called the Live Oak Gallery. I don't know what they got in here, but they got this neat little boat on the outside. Kind of neat. This is an edge loon that I've talked about before. It says Baltimore on the top. It's kind of weird. It's got a balcony too, so I don't know what that's about, but that would have been cool. We're walking back into town, and before I get too close to the up to no good grill and bar, uh, it's playing music outside, and you can't record music for someone else and put it on YouTube without getting a copyright hit. So I'm going to end the video before I get too close to it. But yeah, walking back into town, that was a kind of a quick there's a little bit more to the town but not much it's really neat so we'll go up to this hole in the wall or up to no good I called it hole in the wall there's a hole in the wall oyster place too that we never did try that was recommended and it's right after you come off of the bridge on the right hand side into town up to no good tavern right there there's two gas stations, one right across from each other. So anyway, I gotta turn it off, I can hear the music. This is the Half Shell Dockside Oyster Bar and Grill. And this is the best place, well, there's two good places here. One is this one. Uh, the oysters are really good they're a little expensive in the area um, but what's really good you gotta try if you come here is the grouper Reuben and uh, that was really good the slaw was good the key lime pie was really good um, they don't make their own um, gumbo and it was still okay uh, but yeah, it was a really good. We had a great time here. This is really a toss-up between here and a place called the Owl something or another. I'll put a picture of it up uh, if not before now right after this This is where we ate last night and I thought I would come by here It's called the tap room the Owl cafe tap room and it's kind of a, I would call it a hole in a wall. I'm sure they don't like that term. But it is really stinking good. Let me go in and show you just a quick look around here. I think I took a picture or two. But everything was good here. There you go. Definitely come there.